Hi, I'm Hayley. Welcome to Mr. D's class. Today I'm going to be teaching you Lesson 7 in the Fraction Series. Lesson 7 in the Fraction Series is all about subtracting fractions. Okay, now let's start with 3 quarters take away 2 thirds. The rule in subtracting fractions is you need to find a common denominator before you can subtract them. So to do this we need to do our 4 times tables and our 3 times tables. Then we look along and see if there is a co lowest common number. And in this case it's 12. So then we need to change both of the fractions to something on 12. But if you want another way of finding a common denominator, if they're simple numbers like this, you can just times both denominators. And so 4 times 3 is 12. So both systems will tell you that in the ca this case it is 12. So now we need to change both of our fractions to something on 12. So we have 3 quarters becoming something on 12. Take away 2 thirds something becoming something on 12. So whatever we did to the denominator, we'll have to do the same to the numerator. So what do we do to the 4 to make it a 12? We times it by 3. So we have to do that same to the 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. And the same with the next sum, the fraction. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do the numerator. So 3 became a 12 by timesing it by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So to get our answer, we don't have to change the denominators because they were already the same. So our new answer will be something on 12. So now we just have to do 9 take away 8. And 9 take away 8 leaves 1. So our new answer is 1 twelfth. Okay, so now we'll do 5 6 take away 4 fifths. Remember, we have to find a common denominator before we can subtract the fractions. This one, we're going to do the shortcut technique. So denominator times denominator. So 6 times 5 equals 30. So that's our new common denominator. So now we've found our common denominator, we need to make the sums something on 30. So, what did we do to the 6 to make it 30? We had to times it by 5. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Now we need to change 4 fifths to something on 30. So what did we do to the 5 to make it a 30? 5 times 6 equals 30. So we need to do the same to the numerator. 4 times 6 equals 24. We're nearly at the end of our problem, the problem. So like I said in the other one, you don't have to subtract the denominators. You just have to subtract the numerator. So the denominator will stay 30, but 25 take away 24 is 1. So our new answer is 1 30th. Okay, so now we'll do 4 sevenths take away 3 eighths. Don't forget that when we do subtraction fractions, we need to find a common denominator before we can subtract them. So the common denominator for 7 and 8 we will find this by going the shortcut way again. 7 times 8 is 56. So now we need to change both number, both fractions to something on 56. So what did we do to the 7 to make it 56? We times it by 8. So 8 times 4 is 32. And what do we do to the 8 to make it 56? We times it by 7. 
So 7 times 3 is 21. Now just like I said in the other ones, we don't need to subtract the denominators because they are already the same. We just need to subtract the numerators. So our denominator will be, say 56, but um, now we need to do 32 take away 21, which is 11. So our answer is 11.56. I hope this will help you with subtracting fractions. Bye!